Do you enjoy trains, cars, boats and planes? Do you fancy looking at them, know how they work or simply riding them? Then today's video is definitely for you as we are visiting the Swiss Museum of Transport in Luzern, Switzerland, the largest of its kind in Europe. Stick around to check this incredible museum. Let's go! Hello and welcome to Luzern main train station in Switzerland, where we just arrived on this interregio train from Bern. This station opened in 1856, but the current building opened in 1991 after a fire completely destroyed the old station. The concourse of the station was designed by famous architect Santiago Calatrava. As I told you in the introduction, Today we're making our way to the Swiss Transport Museum and for that you just have to get a bus from the station to the Werkerhaus bus stop. Buses number 6, 8 and 24 all stop at the museum and you can even get there by train with the S3 or the Voralpen Express stopping there. By bus, it takes about 10 minutes and it's a beautiful ride with views to Lake Luzern and this city, one of the best preserved and beautiful Swiss cities. If you have the time, a 30 minute walk by the lake is certainly also an option to get to the museum. After our short bus ride, we get off right next to the museum. When we visited, some construction work was taking place for a new building that is going to increase even further the exhibit space. The museum also has a planetarium and a cinema that we did not visit this time. And here we are at the entrance. I chose not to have the ambient sound and instead some music. This is due to the fact that for the most part the surrounding sound was a lot of noise. This is the most visited museum in all of Switzerland, so if you can, visit in low season and outside school holidays. Many of the more interactive experiences usually have long lines and you can spend a good amount of time just waiting for your turn. Our tickets cost us 16 Swiss francs per adult and 7 for each children. This is a 50% reduced ticket as we have the Swiss Museum Pass that allows us free entrance in most Swiss museums and 50% off on this one. As you can see, you have a restaurant by the entrance as well as a souvenir and chocolate shop. Inside, we decided to first visit the railway section that is found to the left when entering. This is probably my favorite section even though I have to admit that a bit more space is needed, as the big locomotives take lots of room and the exhibit space feels really small for the amount of things to see inside. The kids have lots of things to touch and discover how they work, which is essential so that they don't get bored fast. Lots of interesting old rolling stock is displayed here, mainly steam and electric locomotives. The construction of the Gartard Railway Tunnel also has a big display here, with machines used in the construction and this interactive wall showing the profile of the tunnel and you can even experience the temperature of the rock in the middle of the tunnel. Here you can see my son playing with a wood train designed to show how needles work so that the trains can take other paths. For those interested in modern railways, you are also covered with this big HO showcase, as well as some others with larger scale models.
And of course, no railway museum in Switzerland would be complete without one of the most famous locomotives in the world, the SBB BE68, also known as Crocodile due to its characteristic shape. Right next to it is this beautiful preserved BE57 number 151 from BLS, built in 1913 and at the time the most powerful locomotive in the world. From this high platform, you can see how crowded the space is. And this is something you don't do every day. Have the chance to see from below how a steam engine is built and all its moving parts. Really interesting. Also here we have some narrow gauge locomotives from RHB a GE24 from 1913 and next to it a GE66, the smaller sister of the SBB crocodile, also named the Raetian crocodile, built in 1921. In one of our last videos we rode on a part of the beautiful RHB network along the Rhine Gorge. If you care to check that video, the link is on the top right corner now. And these are some railroad cars from the Jungfrau Bahn that used to go up to Europe's highest railway station. A video about that is also linked now on the top right corner of the screen. Leaving the railroad exhibit, we went to the road traffic section and the building is impossible to miss as you can see here. Inside you will find everything from all-terrain race cars, bikes, NASCAR cars to Formula 1. Isn't this Red Bull a beauty? Children can even pretend to drive some of them. Cycling was not forgotten, with a special honor given to Swiss cycling champion Fabian Cancellara. can even enter a labyrinth of mirrors and desperately try to find your way without making a fool of yourself banging your head on one of them. This is probably the main attraction of this section. An automatic elevator that picks cars from storage racks and then presents them to you 
telling a bit about their history and their function. A lot of other cars and prototypes are presented here. After this, we decided to head to the boat and funicular section. And here you can see the mini train that you can ride for free and do a small tour of the outside. This contraption, situated on the second floor of this building, shows a metal ball symbolizing a person traveling Switzerland and experiencing all the country has to offer. The ball makes its way through the circuit until it reaches home and everything rings and lights. A huge collection of model boats is on display and even a model showing us how boats can climb and descend through the use of locks, all automatic and very well done. Next on the list, the air and space travel section, where you can see everything from satellites to rockets, helicopters and of course planes. On the outside, you can go inside an old Rega plane, one of the companies in charge of rescue by air in Switzerland. This plane served mainly to transport sick and injured people back to Switzerland from abroad. And you can see this in the interior arrangements of the plane. Of course, a look around the cockpit is mandatory even if you have no idea what any of these buttons do. Mm -hmm. 
This ends our day trip to this wonderful museum. I hope you enjoyed coming with us and checking it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me and more videos around Switzerland to come in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye!